transitional wear, transitional outfits, whatever you want to call it. Um, transitions within lifestyle, so outfits that work for different, I don't want to say events because there's no real events going on right now, but just different situations in life and then also for the weather. So I'm going to just do two basic looks and then layer them up. So you can sort of use that whether you're in warmer weather or cooler weather, whatever sort of transition you're in. So that's what we're in for. I'm wearing a really basic tee and jeans and this is obviously the most sort of basic combination um, of all outfits there ever was. Um, basic sort of just relaxed fit white tee and the jeans I'm wearing are a pair of Levi's that I've had for a while. They're a wide leg and then I altered them to make them a little bit slimmer and left a little slit at the bottom so they still feel super modern. I did find on my last trip, if you're following, I did this like little boat journey and I needed sort of very outdoorsy practical uh, outfits and when it's too basic, so when it's just a tee and jeans, I do feel a little bit too average or generic and like the outfit that I'm wearing lacks a little bit of personality. So like my easiest thing to jazz things up is with jewelry. So I've just got these two necklaces on. This one I made during lockdown um, with some old beads that I had and some freshwater pearls. And this is an actual string of pearls that my mom gifted me many years ago and she said that um, every woman needs a string of pearls and I hate like advice and stuff like that but it is kind of true and I have a love-hate relationship with them sometimes I'm into it sometimes I'm not but it's nice to have and with an outfit like this like I enjoy putting them on and I think with such a casual look they almost become a little bit quirky I would never really wear this with like a dress or anything and um, they're just way too girly the sneakers I have on are a pair of silver Michael Kors sneakers they were gifted to me um, from my mother-in-law hi mom if you're watching and I wouldn't normally buy myself a pair of silver sneakers, but I do find myself definitely gravitating towards these a lot. I love the shape of them, the slim lines, and that's a really great thing to remember if you're into proportions. Um, with a wider leg, I definitely like to wear something a little bit slimmer in terms of a sneaker. And yeah, they're just very plain and sort of classic in shape, and I find them going with a lot of different things. And even though I wouldn't normally go for a metallic sneaker, they do sort of add something to the outfit as well. So I really love that sort of just point of difference in the shoe and that little bit of quirk. And then obviously mixed with the jewelry, I'm feeling a lot less plain. A cool thing that's happening right now, which I'm really happy about, and this is not an original idea, but is layering over sleeveless vests. So this oversized one over a white tee is just such a cool, modern sort of boyish more masculine look and I love the slouchy effect of it and as it's getting cooler the exciting thing is that we can bring out our boots and start wearing some more winterish footwear so yeah these are a black pair that I love they've got a cool shape on the heel I like again like the wider leg jean very oversized on the top I'm going for a slimmer shoe on the bottom I think those proportions are cool and I've taken off the necklaces that I had because now as we're going into layers, I feel like there's more personality in the outfit. I don't need so many additions um, because the clothing is really speaking for itself because I've got more to work with. I would definitely still wear this with sneakers if I was out and about and in my normal everyday life. Um, that brings me to another point that I want to touch on in that the practicality of fashion is so super important. It's something that frustrates me. Uh, right now I'm working a job that is not my ideal job and it requires that I wear very comfortable casual clothing and I'm walking and I'm on my feet all day and I hate things like that that really sort of determine what you have to wear like things that say you can't wear this you know you'll be uncomfortable don't go there and when your outfit is sort of like dictated by what you're doing in the day and you're sort of left with very little choice, it's something that I really, really struggle with. So these little cool hacks in uh, whether it's adding jewelry or adding a cool layer that is still super comfortable but adding personality in your outfit really help me feel great on a day-to-day -day basis and then I'm not losing myself and I'm feeling good and we all know that if you love style, that's why we're in this is because that's what makes us feel good and that then filters into the rest of our lives and the rest of our day. A final little level to this outfit would be adding on a blazer. So obviously you're not going to be super warm with just the best. So as we're going into a lot more cooler weather, you can 
layer with the jacket and again I'm sticking because the vest is oversized I'm sticking to oversized on the top as well and I love this these color tones as well like this brownie sort of color and also the navy blazer and then sort of the light pop of denim that really just lifts it and then obviously the black boot grounding everything if I was to sort of lift it and say I was going out for the evening I would add my favorite little bags that I do the silk bags um, they're kind of casual and chill um, they kind of have this like bomber jacket feel which I really love with the quilting and the puff here but I think they're really chic and a little bit dressy which is super cool too and they just give you yeah it just looks like I'm going out now I just finished work and I'm interrupting this style session to tell you that I filmed it in two bits. So the first bit that you've just seen I filmed this morning and the light in the UK is changing. So the mornings are getting a little bit shorter, uh, the sun's coming up later so I had sort of this 20 minute window with which to film this morning before I then had to drive to work. So I filmed it in a rush and then I was watching the footage during my lunch break and it's not the greatest but I hope that you'll bear with me. I don't have a setup, I don't have lights or anything but I still am just loving making these videos because it's inspiring me every day um, and I really need it now that my life feels so up in the air. So I'm racing home to catch the last of the light. It's really gloomy and dark so I hope I get it. I've just finished work and obviously you have not already seen this video. I guess I just wanted to like briefly interlude this video just to say also that I'm probably not going to stick to like an exact day every week. I will try for a certain day but I'm going to experiment a bit also with like the releasing um, and see which days work and then also just so that I've got some flexibility. So I do promise you one video a week if you are following and if you are following thank you so much um, but what day that is I'm not too sure so definitely subscribe and also if you enjoy following and want to know when the next videos are out just hit the notifications bell um, and then you'll always be notified uh when the next one's already so yeah now i bring you the second half of the style session it's saturday welcome to the second half of the style session so i'm wearing another transitional look that's what this video is all about and i'm wearing my favorite white linen shirt the one that i made uh, if you follow you've seen this one um, I had obviously planned to have a line of shirts ready at some point during this year but it's just not the right timing uh, with everything going on with the boat and with having to go back to work and things like that so I'm definitely still enjoying wearing them and you'll surely know that if I ever do bring them out and I'm able to make them available they'll be super tried and tested. So this is a super casual look I'm just wearing my Levi's ribcage denim which are my faves super comfortable I'm just wearing my Tevas the thong shape and I think in transitional weather to as you layer up on top if you can keep a sandal on as long as the weather allows that um, sort of difference in being super covered on top and then having an open shoe on the bottom is really interesting and just gives a really laid back sort of lived in um, effortless feel to your look so that's something I really love doing is holding on to the sandals for as long as possible uh, so yeah a cool way to again jazz things up is with jewelry so I'm wearing some pearl earrings that I made I made these during lockdown and bought the little gold hoops and then the pearls come from existing jewelry that I took apart. Uh, pearl jewelry is everywhere, it's not like any of these are groundbreaking uh, designs or earrings or whatever but I think it's cool if you can get a bit crafty and add a personal touch to your jewelry then I feel like I can bring my own personality into a look that is really really basic. Um, I definitely have realized when I'm too laid back or too paid down I just don't feel like myself. So yeah, just the little additions of that within me makes it feel like um, it's my look, you know? Another 
thick jumper that I have. It's super oversized, super um, sort of masculine, which I really love. I think it goes well with the shirt. So I've now just layered up this look a little bit more with my favorite big black coat. It's just a sort of oversized shapeless wool coat that goes over everything. It's really, really perfect. And then my favorite thing about the look is wearing pantyhose with a summer sandal. If I was to go out for dinner in the evening or felt like I wanted a bit of a heel, but obviously the weather's a bit cooler and it just didn't feel appropriate to have a full foot out on show, then pantyhose under a summer sandal is a really, really great way to do that. I love this. I've been dying to wear the pantyhose of sandals, I saw a picture that Totem, like one of my favorite brands, um, posted and they had a square toe shoe with a sandal so I couldn't wait to get home um, and put my sandals on and do the same even though I'm not going anywhere. Um, I had to put it in this video because I just think it's such a fun look. Um, really, really, really inspired by it and uh, will try and make the most use out of it as I can uh, as we're heading into autumn. So I'd also just taken the earrings I had on earlier off and I'm now putting these clip-ons on. So these are an old pair I've had for years, years, years. I used to sell them in a store I had in Johannesburg and I love them. I think they're super fun with the chunky beads and that. They've got a bit of a vintage vibe and I feel like when a look like this is so super modern um, and quite minimal and very toned down, in terms of colour or interest, I am starting to realise that jewellery is like a really great card to play in that area. And then especially when it's pieces that I've had for ages that are really sort of unique to me, um, I feel really great in them and really feel like they add something to the look. So that's something I love, love, love doing. In terms of bags as well, I realise they're not really a thing that I love, love, love or I'm not prone to want to buy new ones or get new ones. Um, I don't know what it is, but I obviously really love making the ones that I make. So I think bags are like an occasion thing for me. I have like a leather carrier bag and I have some totes and some mini bags, but in general, I think they're like an occasion thing. So if I need one or if I really feel like it's gonna enhance a look, then I'll carry a bag. So that's what I love. Um, using mine for the ones that I make. Now I feel a bit more dressy with my heel, I'm gonna go with the gingham canvas bag that feels a little bit more toned down. So those are my two looks for transitional dressing and some things that I'm really loving doing at the moment in my little style journey. Uh, next video is gonna be a little bit more about sustainability, things that I'm doing. Um, I think the pressure is high right now if you're interested in fashion and just watching the whole industry. And so how does that relate to the small person or the little guy at home just um, trying to figure out their looks, trying to figure out how they shop and things like that. So yeah, I've got some ideas and I'd like to share them in my little vlog format. So. Stay tuned, thank you so much for watching, and if you're enjoying, subscribe, hit the notifications bell. I'm not too sure when or which day of the week my videos are gonna be coming out now that I'm working again. So yeah, at least then you'll be able to know exactly when they are out. Um, yeah, see you next time.